I'm here with Steven Munitones, founder of the World Open Water Swimming Association, or WOWZA, and marathon swimming historian. And today we're talking about the Olympic 10K marathon swim, profiling Italian Rachel Bruni. Steven, what can you tell us about Rachel? Rachel has among the most experience in open water swimming at the highest levels of anyone on planet Earth. Uh, she's won nine gold, nine silver, and eight bronze in major international competitions. That's the Olympics, the uh, World Championships, and, and FINA Pro Circuit races. Um, she's always in the mix. Uh, she burst on the scene in 2006. So she has nearly 15 years of experience. And, and she sits in a really unique part of the world. She's in Italy, where open water swimming is very well supported. Uh, she is supported by the Italian Swimming Federation. They provide great coaches. Their, their team camaraderie is, is second bar, bar none. And she's literally in the open water swimming uh, epicenter. Um, you know, she takes a train ride to France. Uh, she goes over to England. She stays domestically in Italy. And she's always racing really, really good swimmers. So she has experience. Um, the, about the only thing that's uh, a little um, chink in her armor is her pool drop dead pool speed isn't the same as everybody else in the top five or six uh, women. She, 207 and 200 meter freestyle, uh, 416 in the 400 meter freestyle, a little bit on, you know, it's relatively speaking, of course, a little bit on the slow side. So, you know, all things being equal, um, if it came down to a 50 meter sprint or a hundred meter sprint, um, you know, she's, she's a tad slower. That being said, uh, she is, she holds position in the water very well. Physicality, not a, not a question. Strategic know-how, bar none. She's very good. Uh, navigational IQ, meaning the ability to swim from point to point or to position herself in the best position. Unbelievable. Outstanding. So she has all the tools to um, uh, be a, metal, a podium finisher in Tokyo. All right. So maybe not the most, the fastest closing speed, but uh, a real powerhouse experienced swimmer. Tell us a little bit about the conditions in Tokyo and how that might impact her race strategy. Yeah. So, you know, it's a flat water uh total flat water. It's in Tokyo Bay in, you know, Daiba Marine Park, which sort of sits on the inner part of Tokyo Bay. So the water, very, very little uh, water movement, uh, almost no tidal flow to speak of. Um, unless that day, it's very, very windy. Uh, it, again, we're coming in the typhoon season. So it could be windy and rainy, which would benefit her. Very much so. Uh, but all things being equal, it'll be hot, humid, flat water, which favors the faster pool swimmers because it basically mirrors, Tokyo Bay will mirror uh, pool conditions. Um, hot water is her friend. So the hot, humid conditions are okay. It's a flat water. She needs a little bit of uh, water to be churned up for her to be at the best relative to her top competitors. All right. Final predictions for Rachel Bruni, the Italian in Tokyo, August 4th, Stephen. Yeah, same as Haley Anderson. You know, she's 30 years old. Uh, she might have a, a one more Olympics in her, but is 30 years old, been training very, very hard, hard all her life throughout her teenage years, in her 20s. I think this is her last hurrah. And like anything, when you've got one more shot at gold, I think she's going to be on the podium, but I don't think she's going to win gold. All right. Thanks so much, Stephen. Welcome. Okay.